Hey guys, I know that some of you were somewhat concerned about uh, progress in the uh, work board's development, so I'm happy to say that the project is in general ready for release. Finally, <laughs> uh, in about a week, a couple of units will be sent uh, for a few testers and reviewers, uh, so I hope you will get some info on YouTube on how these boards behave and uh, what you should expect. Of course, there is still a lot uh, to do, but now boards can be easily updated by the user, simply by inserting USB drive uh, with the update file. Uh, the CPU frequency is adjustable from the Amiga shell on the fly. Possible frequencies are 50, 66, 75, 85, 90, 95, 100 and 105 MHz. Of course, uh, we can't guarantee anything beyond CPU's rated frequency, though uh, all of our Revision 6 CPUs uh, go up to 100 MHz and some to 105 MHz. It is possible that uh, with future updates that would be even higher, but play with timings is, uh, you know, a time-consuming process, so we won't uh, move release date uh, even further. There is also USB mouse support with hardware emulation. USB mouse is seen by the Amiga as a regular uh, mouse connected to the game board. This connection disables emulation and game board is uh, functioning normally again. Up to four different kickstarts can be programmed in the warp's memory and you can easily switch between them by the shell command. Here's an example how fast you can start diachrom. Stay tuned and keep well in this crazy time.